What's good YouTube? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know. Reclaim Your Throne. So guys, we got to break down this video right here. Um, first, we are gonna do a video, and then second, we're going to break down an article of um, a new law that was passed in California that is going to definitely affect the dating market. So um, let's get into the video. Go out with your man, and another right. man passes you a drink. Would you accept it? I probably wouldn't. Okay, so now that okay so i want to show you guys what actually happened when he asked the question if you were out with your man and a guy offered you a drink would you accept it if your man is literally right there and the girl beside him rolled her eyes and smacked her lips these women they want to get away with things that are just not okay in a relationship they want their cake and eat it too meaning she wants to be able to be showered with gifts by other men but still be in a relationship, a loving relationship with a man who's going to accept her for who she is. And my thing is, you. the thing is that puts a man in danger. We see the trouble situation. We see a whole bunch of other situations, dudes getting set up by chicks um, because they're in a situation and they're smashing another guy and people paid for this and people paid for that. In the trouble situation, um, trouble actually got killed because the dude who the dude whose girl he was smashing paid for the woman's BBL. So imagine how possessive a man's going to get if he paid for a woman that he was loving on and upgraded her body and spent 5, 8, 10, 15,000 on a new body. Imagine how possessive that man is going to get. So um <clears throat> what you guys have to understand is that these women are it's it's wrong that a guy would do that yes but if you're entangling yourself with multiple guys different guys react different ways trouble he probably wouldn't have tripped over a chick that he's just smashing but the boyfriend who was already committed and who um you know put out a lot of uh money toward the situation energy time whatever i mean he even lived with her or she lived with him however what they had it on the lease a guy like that he's gonna get possessive and he's a street dude so you already know how these street dudes are so why and these are black women you can't you you got to deal with one dude at a time because these dudes are out here and they're crazy and, and it's not just black men it's any man but especially black men are more known to to kill a dude over a chick that he's smashing that you're out by yourself mm -hmm. another man passes you a drink you would accept it yeah so what's the difference I mean, just a respect thing. But he also knows mm -hmm. that, like, when I go out and stuff, right. it's not like I'm sitting here advertising, like, but, uh, oh. So what if we in a club, like, you coming to my session? And you're not you with your man. Drinks. So y'all heard it. He asked, if we in the club, are you coming in my section if you're not with your man? And she's like, oh, he, he offering me drinks. Dude, if your woman goes in another man's section and she's dating you, it's over. It's over, bro. I live in Atlanta. I see the nightlife. There's like a party, then there's an after party, then there's an after after party. Guys, <laughs> a woman who is staying out till 5, 6 a.m. a night, she's definitely getting piped. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Like, why? I went, I went to this after party in the A. It was Midtown, whatever. We went to the after party, then the after after party was like more like celebrity vibe and, and dudes who got, you know, Maybachs parked in valet right in front of the club. So it was a different level. And then when you go into the party, like the chicks are, they getting smashed, like in sections, they're giving top, like they might be getting smashed in the section. It's happening, bro. Uh, you know, I, I've seen it with my own two eyes. So I know what I'm talking about. I'm on the club scene in Atlanta, like bro, it's really going down. So 
when you see this type of stuff and your girl is going to clubs and going to sections and stuff like that and getting in other men's sections they're definitely getting piped in this day and age maybe 20 10 20 years ago it may not have happened but in this day and age it's ov bro and you're no. not, we got bottles you're not with your man you're we going got, in this we section. got bottles if i'm not with my man we got a lot of bottles yeah he and i'm like, out with my friends right yeah, we you go. out with your friends. Not we your got man. If you out with your man. See, if a woman opens up the doorway, the gateway, it's over. Because when, you, for one, you, she's exercising her, her hypergamy by even getting in the section with a guy. Like, the whole point of a section is you spend, like, thousands of dollars. And they know this. So you're spending thousands of dollars for a section in the club. Plus, you're buying bottles repeatedly. Um, cause sometimes it's not free bottles all night. You're going to have to continue to buy bottles. So they're like, Oh, this guy is rich. Let me see if he's going to be interested in me. If I go in the section, that's really all that is. Um, so I definitely want to talk to, wanted to talk about that modern dating situation that we're starting to see now, especially since more and more girls are becoming club girls. So I do want to talk about this law that just was repealed in California that is going to enable um, intercourse workers to be able to, you know, sell that WAP freely, okay? Now that we have more and more club girls, a lot of those club girls are going to transition into intercourse work. What do I mean by that? The girls who are going to the club, they are more likely, more vulnerable to get involved in intercourse work because they're maybe they work as bartenders, maybe they're strippers or whatnot, and they start selling the WAP to the highest bidder um, in order to support their lifestyle. So that's what's happening in California a lot. I know everybody knows about Figaro and Skid Row and all this kind of stuff. Um, you have a lot of uh, prostitution out there. So I'm going to read this article because I think this is a, setting a bad precedent and it is definitely going to affect the dating world. And a lot of men are going to end up getting former street workers. So let's get into it. Um, a lot of those beta guys who can't see the signs of these thoughts and these um, modern woman times, right? So California repeals anti-loitering law that sparked debate over criminalization or criminalizing sex work. Um, California Governor Gavin Newsom on Thursday signed a controversial bill to repeal a provision of state law that bans loitering for the intent to sell intercourse, a proposal that deeply divided Democrats in the legislature and pitted trans uh, rights activists against advocates to stop human trafficking. Anti-loitering laws have been contentious nationwide, in part because they are often vague in their definition of what constitutes as loitering, uh, which gives police wide latitude to arrest or disperse individuals. While New York State and cities such as Seattle have reported anti-loitering laws, California now becomes the largest state to do so. Um, in his signing statement released on Friday, Newsom alluded to the difficult political debate around the bill, but noted that it does not legalize the institution. So what it does is basically cops can't go around and disperse these hoes and tell them to, hey, bitch, be gone because you standing on the block and it look like you selling pussy. OK, that is really what it is like. The, the cops cannot do that anymore for these chicks. So now they're going to be able to sit on like uh, the corner of fifth and third and they can just trap their pussy from fifth and third. It's, it's almost like um, the open drug markets in Baltimore <clears throat> where you can just like stand on the block and sell drugs in Baltimore and the police can't really stop you. It's like what they did when they when they um, X out stop and frisk in New York. So usually you would get stopped and frisked because you want to block too long or you know you got a strap bulging out of your pants but now what they're doing is saying hey even if we suspect you of the institution we have to catch you red-handed we can't just say oh she was sitting on the block um we're gonna arrest her for tonight or, or whatnot so basically he's i mean he's basically legalizing it that's really what he's doing <clears throat> or making it harder for the women to be held accountable because that's really what it is He's, he doesn't want the, the, the women who are making bad decisions with their bodies to be held accountable. That's really what it is. So it's a way for the women to skirt accountability. But hey, if you're a man and you end up paying for the, for the chick and then you get your rocks off, you can be charged to the fullest extent of the law. All right. In his signing statement, oh yeah, that we read that part, it simply revokes provisions of the law that have led to disproportionate harassment of women and trans adults, Newsom wrote. While I agree with the author's intent, 
and I am signing this legislation. We must be cautious about its implementation. My administration will monitor crime and prosecution trends or for any possible unintended consequences and will act to mitigate any such consequences. Lawmakers initially passed Senate Bill 357 in September, but state sen uh, Senator Scott Weiner um, delayed sending it to Newsom until June during Pride Month in order to buy time to address concerns from the opposition and present the case for why measure should become law. All right, so y'all get the point here. Um, what I do want to say is we just got an AIDS report and um, all over these liberal cities, you see that the AIDS rate is going up and unfortunately it's affecting the black community at the highest rate, all right? So I, I think this is a bad precedent and it's just going to make California even worse. Um, and a lot of these chicks, they need to understand that, yo, we're in a digital age. There's no reason why you should be sitting on the block. You need to be getting your network up and maybe getting on this internet of things here and trying to figure out how you can expand your business without having to sit down on the block and sell the WAP. But, um, a lot of these women don't want direction from a man. Uh, and I'm gonna keep it a buck. A lot of these pimps don't know how to lead these women in the right way so that they're making the most amount of money and being the happiest that they can be doing that type of work okay so anyways you already know what it is it's your boy reclaim your throne make sure you like comment share subscribe send your relationship questions to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash out so i know you're paying your ties man y'all need to be on your mom freaking dean with the bs and you already know reclaim your throne Claim your throne.